In this video, we're going to take one third divided by six. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take the six here and instead of six, let's call it six over one. It's still six because we're just dividing six by one, but now things line up a little bit better. Next, I'm going to take the reciprocal of six over one. So I take the numerator, move that down to the bottom. The denominator comes up to the top. That way I can say one third and instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 6 over 1. So 1 goes on top, 6 on the bottom, I have 1 sixth. <laughs> With fractions, it's pretty easy to multiply. Multiply the numerators, 1 times 1, that's 1. And then the denominators, 3 times 6, that's 18. So 1 third divided by 6 equals 1 18. And so does 1 third times 1 6. They both equal 1 over 18. And that does make sense because we have 1 third. That's a fraction. It's less than 1. We're trying to see how many times 6 fits into that fraction less than 1. We should get another fraction. It should be smaller than 1 third. And we do. So that's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.